Hey there YouTube, it's Jeff here and I figured I'd uh, give you an update about how things have been going for me the last six weeks or so. You may recall the last video I posted to YouTube was a couple of days before my open heart surgery. And yes, I have had uh, the open heart surgery. I don't want to gross you out too much, but you might be able to see the top part of the uh, incision here. Uh, it goes from about here down to about here, which I'm not sure if it's below the camera. And there are these two little other little marks that are healing up as well from where they had a couple of uh, tubes that were draining fluids and things like that and boy when those came out that was not very comfortable but overall they had me uh, the, the surgery itself went very well as you can see I'm still here I have been putting these little updates on my Facebook page my Twitter page my Instagram uh, page and uh, so but I hadn't really done anything on YouTube and I I know I'd heard from a few people wondering how I was doing I guess the short answer is I'm doing quite well. I'm actually, I'm actually um, improving a lot better than I ever expected. Um, it's not to say I'm perfect yet. They had to cut open my sternum to get to my heart where they replaced the aortic valve. And I had a single bypass. I was originally supposed to have a double bypass. But when the doctor got in there, uh, he said that the single, the uh, second uh, artery was a less important or a minor artery. So he didn't think it was necessary to do the bypass on that one right now. Um, they could stent it later if need be, but right now the major artery, which had to be replaced, was replaced. They took uh, an artery out of my right leg to put in place there, which is a common procedure. And I'm using a uh, mechanical valve in my heart, which on a silent night when I go to bed, I can hear this little clicking sensation going on. But I've been doing quite well, I gotta say. Um, I have been uh, improving each day. I've been walking. I can walk. I'm uh, participating as of today. I'm now participating in the, uh, uh, the hospital's uh, cardiac rehabilitation program, which involves a lot of treadmill walking, uh, stationary bikes, uh, uh, ellipticals, uh, lifting of weights, things of na that nature. I'm supposed to walk about uh, a half hour or so per day. I'm doing that. I'm up to about a mile or so when I walk. Um, I've been able to get up and down the stairs. I, the first week or so was tough, and that was to be expected. Uh, but here it is six weeks out, and I, I don't feel totally new. I still can feel the sort of slight discomfort in my chest uh, where they opened the sternum. Uh, and that's probably going to take a little, that's going to take probably another, another three or four weeks at least to get to a point where I can maybe go back to work or something like that. Um, because even though I don't really do a lot of vigorous work when, on my job, my day job, I'm not really one who has to do a lot of lifting or a lot of activity or things like that, but, but I do a lot of movement and uh, I'll go up and down the stairs quite a lot uh, between in my building. And so I really have to make sure that everything's all healed before I can get back to work. But it was actually quite a good procedure. You know, I was a little nervous, of course, going in the night before. Uh, they put me out. Last thing I remembered before they put me out was sitting under a bunch of lights or something above my head. And um, just kind of, all of a sudden I was gone. Next thing I know, I was waking up with a breathing tube down my throat. Plugged in a wire, I was all over attached to me. And one thing that I thought was kind of neat, um, you, you've watched my beer reviews in the past where I've talked about Oddball Brewing, which is a brewery in Pembroke, New Hampshire, my hometown brewery. The two guys that own that place, the head brewers and the co-owners, uh, Mark and Bill, they are, are they actually do the brewery stuff on the side. Their regular jobs are technicians with Concord Hospital in Concord, New Hampshire, where I had the procedure done. And when I was first coming out of my surgery, there was Bill helping to kind of coordinate some of the equipment. And I'm saying, hey, Bill, hey, Bill. And then afterward, I was talking to him and said, you know, why don't you guys uh, put some of your albino IPA into that IV instead of the drip I had to have, you know. And then Mark came in and said hi as well. He was working on my floor one day. I was in the ICU for about three days. Then they moved me into uh, sort of standard care uh, for three or so more days. I was there for six days in the hospital. I had to stay through Saturday. The operation was on a Monday. I was supposed to get out on a Friday, but my heart rate has been kind of fast and that concerned them. And actually it's still kind of fast now. So I'm not 100% done yet. I have to actually go back to the hospital in a couple of weeks um, where they're going to essentially give me a jump start on my heart. 
because my heart rate's going too fast. And it's not an uncommon thing. They say about one out of three people who get this kind of surgery can have a rapid heartbeat. And they've given me some medication. I take about five different pills each, uh, twice a day. Um, they've given me some medication to try to bring that heart rate down, but it's not coming down enough. So they're going to give me kind of an electric shock. Uh, that's coming up in about two weeks. And um, so uh, that's going to be a... In, it's going to be outpatient, so I'm not going to have to stay overnight in the hospital or anything like that. I go in there in the morning, they'll do the, the job. It takes 20 minutes, and I'll be probably kind of under it. They're going to put me under entirely, completely out, and uh, I'll recover from that and uh, stay in the hospital for a few hours and then be released later in the afternoon and head home. But I think I've been doing really, really well. Um, those of you who watch me for beer reviews, you have to kind of hold on a lot more, a little longer for that. I have not been told I can't drink any beer. Uh, I can drink beer, but I basically can only have one or two 12 ounce bottles per day. And when they're talking about bottles, they're talking about the standard four and a half to 5% beers. Um, and as those of you who know me and watch my reviews know I do a lot of six, seven, eight, 10, 12% beers. So that's the equivalent of having a couple of beers, you know. So they, they said I could have a couple of beers, two beers, two 12 ounce bottles per day, or one 12 ounce with a glass of wine, or one 12 ounce with maybe a, a shot of whiskey or scotch, which I also like to have from time to time. So, um, so I'm not gonna be doing a lot of beer reviews. The beer, I've been really only having one beer a day since uh, the last two weeks or so. And uh, uh, most of the stuff is stuff I've had before. So there's nothing really new for me to talk about, but still, um, I'm doing quite well. I just wanted to kind of let you all know that uh, I'm still among the living, <laughs> and uh, hopefully I'll be getting back to doing more beer or YouTube videos in general uh, very soon on a regular basis. So thanks for all the support you gave me during the time uh, prior to my surgery. My little heart pillow, it's a therapeutic pillow. I'm supposed to, if I cough or something, Though it's not as bad now. This was more difficult the first couple of weeks. But uh, the um, first couple of weeks, if I had a sneeze or cough because they opened my sternum, I'm supposed to push this back as much as I can. And it helps. It doesn't alleviate the pain, but at least it helps dull the pain a little bit, and it protects the sternum. But it hasn't been so bad the last week or so, so that's a good thing. But anyway, I want to thank you all again for uh, your support prior to when I went into surgery. Uh, the nice notes I got, the comments I got um, when I posted that video, and um, I really appreciate that support. It means a lot. So hopefully, as I said, I'll be getting back to doing something more regularly. Until then, catch you later.